Hey everybody, how you doing? This is about to be a really fun video. What we're doing for this video today, this week I was able to get my hands on this Weatherby Mark 5 Hunter. They're brand new. And I'm gonna take it out to the range, get it sighted in, take it for a spin, literally just a first thoughts sighting in video. But the name Weatherby, you automatically associate with awesome. I have two Weatherby Vanguards. Absolutely love them. Every time I put those rifles in a video, everybody oohs and aahs and drools all over them. This is the Mark V and the Hunter model. I have never pulled the trigger on a Mark V. Very, very nice actions. Uh, I wrote down some specs off the website. I'm not going to try to pretend to be an expert. Like I said, I just got this thing. But a few things about the Mark V Hunter. The stock let me show you the stock up close here. It's got that speckled pattern on it. I might as well bring this whole thing up to you. You guys don't care to see me. It's about to rifle. But it's got this new stock. It has a flat bottom four end, which is the bottom right there. Which makes it easier to, to put it on bags and whatnot. It has ambi palm swells. That's one thing, just picking it up. Don't ask me how or why, but grabbing it, that palm swell right there, it just fits perfect to me. It fits like a glove. My uh, This cutout is a little bit more severe than what some other stocks have. And it just, maybe I have a fat palm in it. My fat palm likes, likes a little deeper cutout there, but the cutout's the same on both sides. It has aluminum pillar bedding. A threaded barrel, I'm going to show you that in a second. A deep fluted bolt. Let me show you the bolt here up close quick. Everybody loves a fluted bolt. That's pretty cool. And what else do we need to talk about? Removable bolt knob. These also have the 54 degree bolt throw. So if you have a big old mega scope, you don't have to worry about the bolt. That's literally as high as the bolt comes up. That's it guys. That's as high as the bolt comes up. 54 degree bolt throw. But what I wanted to show you about the barrel, this is a threaded barrel. Just looking at it, you might not realize it, but look at the end cap they have there. It looks just like the barrel and the machining on it is so good. You can't even tell that there's an end cap there. So. Normally, on the, uh, the, we'll say El Cheapo uh, rifles that I tend to buy, because I'm El Cheapo, uh, come with like a, a cheap junk piece of plastic on the end of the thread of barrels. This Mark V Hunter, it's machined to look like it doesn't even have a, th a thread covering, thread protector. That's just awesome. That's quality right there but um what else do we need to talk about this before we hit the range trigger tech trigger zero creep it is a phenomenal trigger just from dry firing it here zero creep um if you talk about triggers you can have a two stage or a one stage i'd compare that to a a, a one stage ar trigger where you're already at the wall you don't have to guess on where it's going to break very very nice trigger just from having it here on the bench i'm excited to see what that's going to do uh, a good trigger helps me shoot better obviously um but that's enough yapping comment down below any questions you might have about this thing we might answer some at the end after we've been to the range but um also ammo i'm going to use for this sighting it in um it's just some of this normal whitetail stuff which is 140 grain. Why? Uh, because that's what I have the most of. Um, Weatherby has a guaranteed sub MOA with this rifle. They say with, with precision um, ammo. This is not precision ammo, but it's probably the best hunting ammo I have. Just to show you, in case somebody really wants to know. This is just some lead nose hunting stuff. So 
definitely not uh, high dollar or precision ammo but that's what we have to take to the range uh, if you're like me you can't find any uh, 6.5 match ammo if your life depended on it but this is in 6.5 Creedmoor let's go hit the range I'm literally just going to sight it in we're going to do some three shot groups at 100 yards probably stretch it out to 200 yards and see what we can do with it almost forgot to tell you about the scope this is a Zerotech Thrive HD we got two and a half zoomies all the way up to 15 if you guys have been watching me for any amount of time you know I'm a big fan of Zerotech scopes the glass is phenomenal this Thrive HD has phenomenal glass uh, good scope awesome rifle uh, I didn't want to put a, a cheap piece of junk scope on this weather bee we had to do it justice with the zero tech so way too much yapping already but let's hit the range we'll sight it in do a couple three shot groups at 100 yards a couple three shot groups at 200 yards and we'll come back measure the targets and see how we did should be pretty cool i'm excited let's check it out all right so i'm here with the weather bee mark 5 hunter brand new rifle and like the title of this video probably says this is a first shots and sighting in video so i've got some of this normal white tail out here to sight it in simply because this is what i have the most of so we're going to sight it in with that stuff these are 140 grain so i've already bore sighted it we should be good enough to hit a paper plate at 100 yards let's see right here and if we have to make a quick adjustment we'll make a quick adjustment you should be seeing a target that says test on it 100 yards first squeeze here all right hit the paper plate i'm gonna bring it up just a tad Click it up four, and go ahead and click it left once. I'm gonna send another one on that same plate there. I think we're good, bullseye. So let's go to a clean plate. I'm gonna do two separate three shot groups. I'm not gonna let this thing cool down much. We're just gonna keep flinging them. Uh, but let's do two three shot groups with this normal whitetail ammo. See how it does. Then we'll do the same thing out at 200 yards. See how we can do uh, grouping this stuff with just your basic hunting ammo. So let me load two more. Then we'll do our first three shot group here. So far, I'm impressed. Love the trigger on this thing. Let me move the camera to a new plate. All right, three shot group. I'm gonna really focus on my trigger squeeze here and try to do this thing justice. I really love this trigger. Trigger tip, trigger like I told you earlier. There's no mush. It's, there's no finding the wall. When you squeeze that trigger, you're breaking the trigger. There's no guesswork. Love this trigger. Here we go. I'm gonna shush it, just focus on what I'm doing here. Three in a row. 100 yards, and I've got all the zooms on this scope at 15 power zooms here. Here we go. Two more. quite tail there. Might have hit the same spot. Number three. Then we'll go to a clean plate and do another one. Alright. Slow three more of these normal white tails. So, 
I think that one was definitely sub MOA. We'll measure it here in a bit, but uh, three in the ring there with some uh, basic lead nose hunting rounds. So I say that's pretty good. Now let's stretch it out to 200. I'm going to do two more three shot groups at 200 yards. Really focus on our trigger squeeze there and see what kind of groups we can get with the same ammo here. Basic hunting ammo. All right, now I'm going to load three more. We'll do a three shot group at 200. You should be able to see a target now where I've drawn two targets out there at 100. Let's see what we can do. It should be dropping maybe four inches or so, give or take. But I'm going to hold those targets, see what we can group it with. Had two very close. Now, uh, let's do three more. That first one might have been me jumping the trigger. Huh? This is real world stuff here. Not a science lab. Let me uh, send three more here on that target. Just to the right of it. See if I can do even better this time. Incredible group there at 200 yards. Uh, we'll go get that target and measure it. But uh, I'm pretty sure we just got like a one inch group at 200 yards, which is incredible with this basic factory cheap lead nose stuff. All right, so back from the range, I've already just now measured our targets. You guys saw it, um, how good I did, but let's take a look at our targets and see how we did. So our first three shot group at a hundred yards, a 1.75 inch group at a hundred yards. So with hunting ammo, not too terrible, right? But not the uh, sub MOA like Weatherby guarantees. Now I did put the disclaimer on it. We're using lead tipped hunting ammo not match grade or precision ammo. So 1.75 inches, that's acceptable with hunting ammo, right? But then I'm getting used to the trigger. I'm slowing down. I'm really trying to do my best. With that Norma ammo, on the second three shot group, I got a 7 8 inch group. So definitely under that um, sub MOA guarantee and remember, this is with lead nose hunting ammo. So after we got that one, I started to get excited. Um, remember these groups, they're dependent on the ammo that we feed it, which is hard to find right now. And then we're also dependent on my trigger squeeze. But I'm here to tell you, um, in a bolt action rifle, and you guys know I pull a lot of triggers. I'm talking about a lot, like a lot. I couldn't even tell you um, how many in a normal week or month we do, but I pull a lot of triggers. That I can recall, this is the best trigger on a bolt action hunting rifle I have ever squeezed. And you guys know I'm not about that monkey business. Nobody's paying me to make this video, but this is absolutely on this uh, this Trigger Tech trigger they put in this Mark V Hunter, this is the best trigger, me personally, I have ever squeezed on a bolt action hunting rifle. Now, I don't shoot any of the super crazy expensive $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 hunting rifles, so I'm sure they're possibly better out there. But me personally, what I've ever taken to the range, this trigger they have in this thing is the best bolt action trigger I've ever squeezed. Now, all that being said, all that being said, how did we do it 200 yards? This is where I got really excited. So check this out. Here's my first try here. Now we had two 
very close to each other which is good but then we had another one way down here and I measured that that's a three and a quarter inch group at 200 yards so not that impressive right like whoopie doo dah three inch group at 200 nobody's gonna get excited about that but my second attempt I got this group which was 1.25 inches at 200 yards now to me that is very very impressive so a 1.25 inch group with hunting ammo at 200 yards to me that blew my mind so with the match ammo yeah okay we can probably do an inch 1.25 Okay, it's supposed to do that at 200 yards, not that impressive, but with this cheap lead nose hunting ammo that weather be with my trigger squeeze, we got that 1.25 inch group at 100 yards. Let me show you up close again. There you go. Also, you can see the drop there of the 6.5 Creedmoor. And our group here makes me think that that was probably just either a, a bad load we'll call it that but or more likely a, a bad trigger squeeze on my part but hey there's my sighting in and first shots of this weatherby mark 5 hunter absolutely love it uh, what else do we need to talk about the reticle that they have on this thrive hd zero tech right here is the phr2 reticle let me pop up a picture right here to show you why I like it. It has a dot in the center as opposed to, you know, your standard, what do you, whatever you call that cross one. I can't even remember right now, but I really like the scopes with a dot in the center, especially when we're trying to do this precision stuff. I just put the dot exactly where I'm holding as opposed to a cross uh, where you can't see your target with that reticle. Just put the dot where you want it to hit. But hey there you have it guys weatherby mark 5 hunter absolutely phenomenal rifle in my book one of the finest bolt actions i have ever slung bullets out of again this one is the 6.5 creedmoor absolutely love it uh, the thing that stands out to me i like the palm swell here my hands just grip that really good and that trigger tech trigger they put in there is absolutely fantastic but hey let me know what you think about it the next video we're doing on this thing is i'm going to take it to the range and do an ammo test get all the 6.5 creedmoor ammo that i can find and do uh, some of these three shot or maybe five shot groups at 100 yards and see if we can find an ammo that this thing really loves uh, you guys fling as many boo lots as I do, you know your rifle, it's going to love some ammo or some grain weights better than some others. These were 140 grainers, did pretty good for us. Uh, I think we can do even better, so we're going to do an ammo test. Stay tuned for that, it's going to be coming out real soon. Appreciate y'all watching. Let me know what you think about the Weatherby Mark V Hunter. Hey, so far I'm impressed. Very first trip to the range, getting this scope sighted in to the weather bee. but appreciate y'all watching don't forget to check out all the links down below we'll see you on the next one